Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bob's Bookshelf. I'm your host, Bob. Uh, today, one of my absolute favorite exhibition catalogs ever, 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 ever. Uh, Ray Johnson Correspondences, designed by Barbara Glauber and Beverly Joel of Heavy Meta in 1999. Um, there are so many fascinating and terrific details built into the design of this book. Um, it's just one of my all-time favorites. So let's pin the image and get started. All right, here we go. So um, cover, uh, this is using the, the sort of stylized lettering that the artist Ray Johnson used to render his name as the type here. And then um, it's stamped into the cover as well, just a, a blind stamp. And then this beautiful sort of, I don't know if you can see it so well, this sort of snake or worm-like figure here, uh, also in the spine. And then it appears here on the jacket as well. Just, just terrific, Ray Johnson. And then this um, terrific horse diagram on the back. Um, so going on to the inside, the end pages are uh, just gloss black on black. And these are abstracted and uh, separated out from some of his artworks to build up this, this pattern. Same in the back, really fun. Title page set in semaphore. Um, Pretty unusual, but you can see here on the copyright page is a diagram of the semaphore. It's a drawing by Ray Johnson. And if you can use this to translate this thing and it says Ray Johnson. A full title uh, with his lettering of his name and then alternate lettering uh, versions of his name as well in this little cloud of typography here. Really, really beautiful. And then the copyright page. Um, so often copyright pages aren't, I'm sorry, the, uh, the contents page. So often contents pages are not that ex exciting, but uh, I just love the beauty of this one where we have this, this line here for all, all the information. And then the titles of the essay sections weave in and out of that line. Really fun, really beautiful. Okay, we get started into the foreword. I'm gonna sort of glance over this here until we get to the first essay. All right, here we go. So uh, the essay is all open like this. There will be a little um, decorative figure that's made out of these kind of twirly, um, scribbly shapes. Uh, they're different every time. And they're in gray like this. And then the, the text, the titles are all set. Um, I don't know exactly how this is done, if this is more than one typeface, but it's going back and forth between a condensed and a more open sans serif. All right, so that you get this interesting kind of texture as you go through. Within the body copy, there are all sorts of other interesting and beautiful things going on. Uh, the type, it gets mixed up in a number of interesting ways. There's a mixture of uh, a sans serif monospace typeface and uh, a lovely serif typeface with uh, this nice big indent here. The figure illustrations tuck into the text in different ways. And then the uh, titles for the figures float out on the edge. And then let's see. Okay, I'm not seeing exactly what I'm looking for on this spread. So we'll just keep moving along. Okay, so one interesting little detail that is used here is that when there are quotes, uh, by the artist, they appear in this monospace typeface. And I'll have to bring the book up for you to see it um, right here. So it goes from the serif to the monospaced sans 
So you get this beautiful little texture change as you're going through. And again, the figure is tucking in to the text. This gives the spreads this beautiful, lively um, quality as we're going through where things are not repeating. And it just sort of brings you through, okay? Extensive notes at the end. These are always difficult to uh, negotiate, uh, but handled in this really, really beautiful way. Um, at the end of the essay is this little a series of glyphs that are again taken from Johnson's own work. I don't know how well this is going to focus. But just lovely, like detail after detail as you go through. Then after each essay is a, a section of plates that are also treated in a really nice way. It has a lot of energy as you go through. Uh, I think this is where the these shapes for the end papers came from this artwork here. Uh, the cover is a detail of this. And then here, I think, and I don't know, but I think that the, the way that the type for the essay titles, let me get back to that, this stuff, I think this is a reference to both this lettering that Johnson did and the Lucky Strike uh, logo where you know not all of these letters are are perfectly um, uh, proportioned. So the R is a little wide, the E is a little wide, um, etc. So I think maybe that's what that uh, reference is from, but I don't know. Okay, so let's jump ahead to the next essay. So again, one of these twirly figures here in light gray. And then again, the, the text treated in this mix of different widths of the sans serif in this kind of cloud formation of, of type. And then the essay proceeds from there. Okay, again, with, the, with these tucked in. This is a really lovely spread here with the type stepping around these smaller figures, really terrific. Um, Here's an area where there's the, the sans serif mono space typeface for the quote. Uh, here it's a little easier to see because it's larger. So um, you can just see how the texture of the page shifts, right? So it allows you to find this uh, in, an, in a quick and easy way. All right, moving along. Uh, this might be where those uh, icons at the end of the previous essay came from. All right, let's jump ahead. Here's some notes again here with a figure tucked into them and then into another plate section. So again, the lovely dynamic way that the plates are aligned on the page so that every time you turn the page, it's another pleasant surprise. So the next essay, another one of these, this treated again in a slightly different way. Okay, let me go through here. All right, so let's jump to the next plate section. So all the, all the plate titles run across the bottom like this, right? And then it allows that the plates themselves to float above them. Okay, another one of these shapes, another type. All right, so that's, that's how this runs all the way through. Um, I never get tired of looking at this. First of all, the work of Ray Johnson itself is terrific, but the, the catalog itself is such a sensitively designed uh, interpretation of the work. It just never gets old to look at, even though this book is you know, over 20 years old. All right, so we get to the, this goes on and on and on. Here's these little guys again, and this little guy. So more, more plates. 
Okay. So uh, the end of the book has an interview with Johnson. And then this is where the, the mix of the monospaced sans serif and the serif typeface also come into play. So this is the introduction to the interview. And then the interview starts here, all right? So we have the names of the two participants popped out in bold. Uh, and they are further differentiated by uh, this series of indents, all right? And then further differentiated by the kind of typeface that they're set in, okay? So you can instantly look at this and navigate it without even having to read the words, which I, think I as a reader find very helpful, right? So you can, boom, find the question, question, answer. It's very, very clear. All right, so just terrific. And then uh, here we have a, an illustrated chronology um, with biographical information. And so the, the years are, I mean, this to me looks like these are taken from Johnson's own lettering. So it's like as if he's hand lettered his own uh, biographical chronology. And then the images are tucked in and around the text as it goes. And from time to time, there's these beautiful little details added in here as well. Okay, just super fun all the way through. Another set of little icon-like uh, glyphs used to indicate that end. And then here we have a bibliography, the same kind of uh, lettering and list of works. And then we finish up the book. Okay. Back end papers. And there you go. All right. Okay, so um, just a terrific book. Um, Barbara Glauber is one of my favorite, favorite designers. Unfortunately, um, Have You Met His website is not up and running at the moment. All there is is a, a homepage with no uh, ability to link through to see more work. Um, but uh, Barbara has given uh, many, many interviews that are available and I'll find a couple and uh, link to them. Um, her, her presentations are always uh, fun, smart, witty, all the things you would want in graphic design. Um, and it reflects in her work as well. So there you go. Ray Johnson, Correspondences Designed by Barbara Glauber and Beverly Joel of Heavy Meta, 1999. Just a terrific, terrific, terrific book. Okay, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Be well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.